Oh, hello. And welcome to another episode of Interior Decoration by Frederico. I am your host, Frederico. I introduce you to objects. Today I bring you to the spare bedroom. This right here is a lamp. It was built by 175 Norwegians off the coast of Nohoruhu. It is so beautiful. The way it stands so tall in this shade that sprouts from it. Mm, gorgeous. Follow me over here. This right here is a switch. It has so many options on and off. You're so cute. Oh, hello there. This is a doorknob made of 100% bronze. Do not be confused by its tarnish. It is bronze. Oh, hello. Would you like biscotti? No, no I, I am not offended. It is all right. In fact, I am perfectly enticed. Oh. Oh. I am sorry. Sometimes I get a little too excited. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Until next time, remember that if you love your home, your home will love you back. Good night, everybody. Time to go home to the closet. Ow! Old MacDonald uh, had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm, there were children. And I want all children to fail. There I said it, and I meant it. This is real paper. This is the American flag. Blood, sweat, tears went into making this flag. You know, I was watching a program the other day. It was called, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Terrifying. And I will fend them off with half my brain tied behind my back just to make it fair. Nothing says love like Pillsbury's buns. Hey, watch it. The script says playful nudge, not ordered poke. All right, we'll just shoot it again, all right? We'll just shoot it again. Uh, uh, Sid, we're not going to shoot it again. Was this amateur hour? The only way I'm shooting this again is if you get me a decent actor in here. Okay, he's going to come up. He's going to poke you in the stomach. Yeah, and... I get it. I've been doing this for 30 goddamn years. You think I know how to get poked in the stomach after that about a time? Would you do it if I poked you in the stomach, Pillsbury? Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, watch it! Keep it above the belt! You go! I can't! Get out of the Today we're going to learn about, you know, underage drinking. You should be doing it. I'm going to tell you about a little story that I had with uh, Jonathan's little kid. It was about your age, 18. That, uh, me and my roommate John, we were having a party and we invited all the popular kids. You know, Bob and Steve and John, they showed up. They were super popular on the football team. Oh, bang, bang, I'm catching it over here. Oh, they were a blast. Also, you know who showed up? All the cheerleaders from the squad. They came in and they were dressed in their actual cheerleader outfits. I don't even know why. It was beautiful. Even uh, Judy Oswald, she came in. We had a blast, me and Judy. We were playing beer pong together. And then at one point I said, hey, Judy, come with me into my bedroom. What I did was I landed one right inside of her. It was fantastic. We made love. And that was the best and only sex that I have ever had in my entire life. It's a rock in the building. You could be at any assisted living facility in the world right now, but you're here with me at Sunrise Assisted Living Facility in Mars Plains, New Jersey off of Route 202 and 10. And I appreciate that. Yep. So the other day I flew in and boy are my arms tired. T I R E D tired. You suck. That is incorrect. So women love to shop. Take my wife, comma, please. You're such a hack. That is incorrect. Do -de -de -de. We're here on the nesting grounds of most of the squirrels here in Savannah. They can't be here. It's too delicious. Billy! Billy, shut the cam- Shut it off! I'm prepared! Shut the goddamn- Shut the camera off now, Billy! Hi, this is Hank Hill from King of the Hill. What's that, Bobby? 
our show got cancelled. It's probably because of my show, The Cleveland Show. My show will never get cancelled. Elmo's World. Ba da ba da, ba da ba da, Elmo's World. Ha 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 ha. Can you spell Sylvester Stallone? Yeah, I can spell it because it's me. S L V S T E R Stallone. What you need to do is start eating more of apples and oranges and papayas. And more baked goods, like Pillsbury's new poppin' fresh muffins that help reduce your carbon footprint. You know, the Pillsbury Doughboy is 100% correct. If we don't start changing our polluting ways and start getting real, we are all going to die because of global warming. Yeah, you need to listen to uh, VP Al Gore right there. You know, hit it right on the money. You know, uh, we need to start doing things. I'm the former president of the United States, Il Presidente, in case I didn't uh, let you know who I was. Uh, this is a really warm place, the planet. You know, a lot of good people. Like that guy Scorsese down there in uh, France. He's real nice. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know, a lot of good people out there, a lot of beautiful and hot, gorgeous women out there. Oh, yeah. And as the sun sets in Montreal, the sun is rising in New York City. Uh, Shet, we're in the same time zone. No, that can't be right. It's a different country. <laughs> uh, for Shet Williams, this is Montreal. Good night. <laughs>